How's it going, Book Squad? Welcome to Garden Story, an RPG game that looks a lot like uh, Turn a Boy Commits to Axe Evasion. I kind of like the, the idea of um, playing as fruit or vegetables in games, so I decided that I wanted to play this too. I have... I, I know it's supposed to be kind of like a funny game. At least that was one of the tags. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like an RPG sort of. Eh, let's get into it. You guys will see for yourselves. <laughs> I talk too much. In our beginning, there was the grove. Timeless, supernatural, and sentient. It is the foundation of our home and the source of our existence. A tree so large and overflowing with mana, it's filled over. Populating its foundation with our peoples. Our time has ended and the grove is now silent. Malevolent, oozing rot has seeped in, seeking to separate us from our greatest protector. Many heeded the rot's challenge, rallying the grove to a time of bravery and action. Each guardian exploring a new horizon of, the life's, many, of life's many possibilities. <clears throat> More stepped up for the community for the first time we truly grew. To most, it was their first time fighting. The meek forged their spirits in combat. When the island grew weaker, their desperation and hubris spelled demise for all but two. The heroes of our world forever lost, chasing the final horizon beyond our island. The grove, ever mourning, once for a new guardian to lead them. In a new age of turmoil, fate focuses on Concord, the youngest of Spring Hamlet. A quiet gardener of few words and fewer aspirations. As me would do. I woke. I move. I roll. Do a roll. Looks like his face gets smashed in whenever I do that, though. <laughs> and then I can. Look angry. I can look angry. That's what I can do. Interact with the vine. The leaves are a little wilted. They could use some dew. Okay. Who's that? <clears throat> Inside long bleh, lies Concord's rucksack in an empty jar. Take them? Yeah. Tool shed's now empty. Okay. What button is that? A? Okay. Is it now my active item? Okay. I have obtained to do use item. Got it. Enchanted by dew, it doesn't look nearly as wilted as before. Yet it still refuses to grow. Oh. Concord, you busy right now? Come say hi to good old Plum. Okay. I know who you is. Evening, Concord. Looks like you've been working hard. You toiled so much for a vine that refuses to grow. Oh, geez, have you been locked up there this whole time? Let me get this gate open for you. I'm really sorry about that. Nothing here works like it used to. Not since we lost Alio. Leo. Alio. <coughs> My work is good and honest, yet even with all the effort, it seems like the grove is still slipping away. At least I can come back here to you for a brush of air, breath of birth, birth, breathe air. <laughs> At least he can breathe air whenever I'm around. You never ask me for anything. Sorry for getting here so late. Got caught up with some trouble in Bell Row. I'm gonna make it up to you though. I've got a gift for you. Granny Smith just completed and it's ready for a pickup in the hamlet. I know you don't usually travel outside the kindergarten, so take this map. Don't want you getting lost. Hee hee. Spring Hamlet is just southeast, right through the riverways. I labeled them on the map already, but you have the pleasure of charting the rest of the grove. Awesome. How did he give that to me when I'm so far away? 
I'll take... I will take... Mep. Awesome. To the village, eh? What was my... 10? 10. I'm pushing shift. What was my... Roll? Oh, it's X, okay. Okay, so it's literally four buttons, but my brain is like, oh, it's too many. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? That's fine. What is this? What do you mean the jar is empty? Did I just fill it? No, this. I don't think there's something there. I think my, I think I, it's just all sparkly. Whoa, Concord! Getting bored of watering plants all day? Never too late to join the rest of us in Hamlet. Maybe. If you ask me, we have enough greenlings already. I think we could use more frogs in the grove. Do us all some good. Good to see you stepping out of the kindergarten. Finally in your rebellious face. Don't worry, I won't tell Guardian Plum you're sneaking out. Might want to be careful. I saw him around. Anyway, it's getting late, and the rot's starting to pop up. You know how they get once the sun sets. Don't want to see a tiny gardener fighting rot with their bare hands. That'd be pathetic. Haha. <laughs> I don't like this foreshadowing. <laughs> What's that? Over here, Concord. I hope you like it. What is it? Is it a turnip? Is it turnip boy? <laughs> Go on. The rod is stirring in... Oh, okay, I, I'm confused. The rod is stirring in new ways. I can hear rumbling in the pits of the library. Da dot dot. There it goes again. Will I ever feel safe again? No. Oh! Sweet little Concord. Come to bless my little shop. Plum told me you'd be visiting here. Paid me a pretty price to make this for you. Everything's taking a lot about the groove's condition, and we're all worried about you. Talking. Rin has been talking about getting you out of the kindergarten. You're all alone there. These rot are spelling dangerous times, eh? And a tender grape could use the protection. I get the hammer? <clears throat> Still, it's a lot for a guardian plum to be equipping the youngest of the hamlet with a weapon. There have been a lot of mix-up. Villagers have been moved around everywhere to accommodate the encroaching rot. Even now, it's hard for any to catch a break. Too much rot everywhere, right? If the vine refuses to produce more greenlings, you may very well remain the youngest of us. Oof. You should come by more often. We barely see you, Concord. Tumshi could use a comforting friend. Plus, a dedicated gardener like you will have brain, not work. Need for a spade later, just like Plum. And if you ever get tired of gardening, we have no shortage of other work to be done. I got a pick? Is that a pick? Oh! I thought I was getting a hammer. Oh well. Head back to the kindergarten. I want to talk to Shumber Shumrim or whatever their name is first. The rod is stirring a new... Okay. I want to talk to Mushroom. Woo-wah! 
If it isn't a reclusive gardener. Okay. Thanks. I'm sure Granny Smith had some choice words. They made me pay extra to make it for you. Even a harvesting tool like a pick, the pick carries the connotation of battle now. I think it worries some to know that a, a secluded grape like you is ready for combat. Let's head back to the kindergarten before it gets too late. Try to hit your new pick just in case we run into something. I have already done so. What is that? All right, Concord. You have your pick, but I want you to use it now. It may be good for gathering, but I want you to be able to defend yourself. Please, Concord, squash these rot. I'll keep you from getting hurt. <clears throat> Just show me what you got. Don't worry. Okay. Smack, smack. Oh, smack, smack. Ow! Oh. No. No. I do smack. Nasty things, aren't they? Under the moon, under moonlight, they grow more resistant to our force. Greenlings may be born from the sun, but rot prefer the cover of night. Watch your step. I don't want you to get stuck in their goop. Eee. It was fun. You did really well. I'm proud of you. They say the pick was the first tool Hemma villagers used to fight. Seems fitting for you, gardener. I know you're not used to combat, so if you have any scuffs, you might want to pull out your jar. It's a good idea to always be using dew. It's for much more than just tending the kindergarten vine. Just one drop is all you need to make at least some of your wounds disappear. Whoa, Plum is giving out weapons? I want one too. No. Gotta tell everyone Plum is cool now. It's not like that, Rana. Get out of here. You already have a pick. <laughs> Concord, let's head back to the kindergarten before we get sidetracked. I don't want more rot to pop up. I was really hoping for a joke there. Now I'm sad. Oh, I can attack things? Oh yeah, gathering. Cool. I can only take three hits, can't I? Okay. What do? I need stronger tool. What? Man, that wood was strong. I'm starting to like this. More than I already did. You know, I think you're doing great, Concord. I know you're still new to the groove. Grove. You're still new to the groove. I'm going to call it the groove from now on. <laughs> and the villagers may baby you a bit much. But I know they all look up to you in their own special way. Your pick should be mostly used for gathering... But there will be times of danger. The rot may not always carry ill intent, but the damage they do is real. Since Cain picked me up as a guardian, resisting them is all I've really known. With what little you know of the guardians, how do you feel about them? I will be one. Oh ho, really? I didn't think you saw yourself as the leading type. That's good, though. I know everyone will soon rely on you as they do me. I've talked to Elderberry, who decided to move you out of the kindergarten. You may have some concerns, but I think you need to be around others. Your role here may be sacred, but the kindergarten vine is no longer producing greenlings. We're no longer needed here. That much I'm sure you've known for a while now. Tomorrow, pick up your things and meet me in the bend. It's high time you live as the rest of us in Hamlet does, and I'm sure you'll come to enjoy it. Oh. Oh. 
okay. Is it... The light does go away. That might be something later. Okay. Go sleep now. Good night. Say goodbye to the kindergarten. Oof. One more time. All right. Goodbye, kindergarten. I am no longer five years old. Rock. Okay. I can't kill rocks yet. Dang it. Quest. Give quest. Is that a blueberry? Thank you for coming. I know it's a big change of pace. But we tried our hardest to make this a new home for you. Do I get a shed? It's a nice upgrade from that shack in the kindergarten, at least. And a place like the Bend always has a nice flow of dew. Plum and I have a few things to talk about. Rhino, why don't you show them inside and while we talk? And then the wall with the... the I need to eat something. You're with me. Yes. Take your time, we have a lot to talk about. Take your time, we have a lot to talk about. I wonder if, I was, if I could give that uh, Rena a voice, what voice would I give her? Don't get too- no. <laughs> Don't get too excited, this place was a total dump before we got it set up. But I'm sure it's still way fancier than the shack in the garden. That's a good voice. It's not a home without a pillow leaf to sleep on, of course. When you're done for the day, you can come here to rest your tired eyes. Is Rena a guy or a girl? I don't know, we'll find out if that voice fits or not. Or, you know, do what I do and just sit and think about cool things all day. Fuji repaired this old well here for you to use. This is the first time I've actually, like, successfully gave a character a voice, isn't it? You're probably used to the using the, the, the ugh, you're probably used to using the one on the vine. That, I'm not reading it again. <laughs> but you'll be using it on yourself after you get hurt. Yes, I've already done that. So make sure you have plenty on hand. If you collect any new clothes, you can change them out here. I get hats. Do I get hats? I want hats. I want a chicken mask. <laughs> For when you want to look your best. We've got a box here for our village storage. You can deposit your harvest into any of these boxes to save them for our town. Gotta keep your backpack nice and free for more resources. That's pretty much everything we were able to haul here. Take a look around. I don't want to. But don't get too comfy just yet. Let's go round up those geezers before you doze off. I'm sure Elderberry will have the... Had a few more words. They always have a few more words. I think I think that voice fits them pretty well. Back in my day, feeling better. <coughs> Hold on. Feeling better about moving Concord. A few days more, and I know this place will feel like a home for you. When we first made this place, it was all right. Shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> It was just for storage. Now our favorite sprout is living here. <clears throat> I'd really like for you to be a bit more active part of the hamlet. Soon they'll need for you. Come, soon they'll need you for the coming days. 
I'm having Rana take you around tomorrow. I think a nice introduction to what daily life is like what will be good for you. But for now, rest up in your new home. You look just a tad bit wilted, and I want you to be ready for the next day. And be careful for rot that may gather here. They've been catching villagers off guard at night. I'm gonna go grab something to eat whenever my character goes to sleep. I can save my game! And saves the game? So it's a... Okay, cool. I want to know what it does. Okay. Cool. Ah, no, wait. Okay. I have returned from a ingesting entire bowl of rice. Oh, my glasses. Mm. What's up with this box? What does it do? Also, why can I not just open it? Awesome. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, well that was fun. <clears throat> Morning! Uh, what was the voice I gave him? Morning! No. I'm thinking. We're right back. <laughs> Morning! Already up and at it. At it, Concord? I think that was it. I don't remember. You're looking so chipper. Hop your new home. That's completely different. It was pretty nasty before Fuji worked it over. The truth is that the Hamlet sorely needs all the help it can get. But now you're... <laughs> but now you're not cooped up in the kindergarten, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> so we can make good use of you here. Lucky for you, today I've made some time to walk you through it all. Have you? If you're working the Hamlet... You want to keep your eye on this board here. You're not really walking it through me, huh? The villagers have put up a few requests, and it's now your job to help them where you can. To help them where you can. People always need a new. Uh, people always need a new. Uh, a new. People always need a new. People always need nooses. Blah, 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 Reyna, help out. Blah, 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 Reyna, do something for once. <laughs> it's fine if you ignore them. But if you want her village to grow, you'll need the, they'll need your help. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I want to make sure you uh, make a good first impression. I'm sorry. Look <laughs> myself laugh too much. Because you know, it'd make me look bad if you just lazed around all day. So no wiggling out of your duties today. We're going to hit all the requests, no matter how long it takes us. Okay. So the conflict, fetid roots have grown in the bell row. Cut them down before someone gets hurt. Okay. Let's start with the, the one-star forage. Granny Smith has to resharpen the guard's tools. And he's asking for glass shards from the beach. Okay. You need four in a forage box. Alright, let's go to the beach then, I guess. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, are we just following Rana? Rana or Renner? God, I need a drink. Scarf the rice down too fast. My body's like trying to force hiccups on me. <clears throat> oh, whoops. I forgot the bridge to Hamlet is down. I hate you. But I guess we're bound to repair it anyways. 
It was on the request board after all. This bitch. <laughs> Most of the structures in, in the hamlet are made from the special wood Granny Smith uses. But they're a bit finicky. Those glass nodes up there should control the bridge. Glass nodes? Those don't look like glass. Uh, I don't really know what all the lights mean. I just keep hitting those glass nodes up there and it all works out in the end. <laughs> sure, well, I can move it. I'm gonna plan out our day. Okay. Sure. Okay. This puzzle is very confusing. Here we go. <clears throat> Good thing it was a really short puzzle, though. Ah, oh, nice. Bridge up. Request done. That was not the noise I was trying to make. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. Nothing like the smell of the rivers in the morning. What do rivers smell like? But sadly, we got things to do. Let's keep heading to Spring Hamlet. We should head to the docks. Okay. I do a smick, smick. I do smick, smick. No, smack. Dead now. I have things. Just randomly, just up, 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 up. Ah. Okay. Look, mom, I'm a bird. Flap, flap, flap. Nice work, but our day is just beginning. Let's head south to the docks. We need to forage some stuff. You know what that reminds me of? Um, the turtle from Sly Cooper. <laughs> we need to forge some stuff for Granny Smith. That's that's what your voice is now. Your your voice is the turtle from Sly Cooper. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, the Hamlet's center of trade. The docks have been better. The docks have seen better days, but a lot still happens here. As for our next request, the hamlet needs glass. Jars often wash up here on the on the stone here. Start on the shore. And while they're too damaged for holding dill, glass is still very valuable, especially in Spring Hamlet. Okay. Why? Once you've gathered all the glass we need, put it in this bin here. Gotta p put them in the labeled bins, since kind of get, since things kind of get lost in the village storage. Uh, look, mom, I'm a bird. Flip, 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 flip. Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Smack, smack. I do a double smack. Smack, smook. Ah! Smock. Gotta come up with a different automatopoeia every time. <laughs> smirk. That was horrible. <laughs> that's my, that's my smirk. You guys like it? Because I don't. Oh, I'm supposed to break these. Oh, well, I have glass shards now. All right. That was... That was easy. No, but I don't ever smirk. This request is in the bag. We do good work together, Concord. Too bad it still work. Too bad you're not actually doing anything. Huh. <laughs> Freaking asshole.
There's some commotion in Bill Rose, so let's head eastward. It's a bit of a luck, but I'm sure we can get there before Sunfall. Don't want to stay out too late. The rod might eat you whole. Hee hee hee. <laughs> Going this way now? Yeah. Is that uh, one of the main character? Hello, hello, Mar Mar Marashino? Marashino. There we go. Beat it, Rana. Mm, that different voice. Beat it, Rana. I'm busy. Busy. No, I'll just give them normal voice for now. Beat it, Rana. I'm busy. Busy with work. Not that you'd understand. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. A little sour today. For the record, showing Concord around is my solemn and sacred duty. Concord and I are heading to fight Rod and Bell now. I bet you're so jealous. Ooh, just go already. If we're lucky, your dishonorable attitude won't rub off on Concord. That's that's their voice. There we go. Aha uh ha! Let's go, Concord. Maraschino's busy watching the shore. What a snore. What a bore. Eat some poor, Ridge. Someone's got to lighten up. The summer bar's not going anywhere, you know. I'm sorry. Did they just disappear? <clears throat> this way, Concord. Bell Row is just north of here. If you guys don't like the voices I'm giving them, please, for the love of God, leave comments telling me how horrible I am. Oh, frick. Almost out of time. Actually, I am out of time. That's okay. Oh, hey, Fuji, Fuji. Fuji here, Fuji. Hello, Rana. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Yep. Oh, yeah, totally. You, oh, frick. I'm actually helping out Concord right now. Helping Concord out right now. Responsible things. Sure. Sure. Anyways, Granny Smith is sending me... You know, everybody's gonna have that voice. The only person with a different voice is Rana. Anyways, Granny Smith is sending me to the summer bar. Don't know when I'll be back. The sea folk always need help. Who knows how long their town will last. <clears throat> Say hi to Lilyput for me. Hate that place. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's roll, Concord. Before even more ro ro starts popping up. And before we roll out, I'm actually going to have to cut the video off there. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see all of you in the next video. Leave a comment. And I'm going to go grab a little glass of milk and also probably take a nap. See ya.